Hello people! This is gonna be uh, a video in English and it's gonna be a review on the book by Brandon Sanderson, Mistborn and it's the first book of the trilogy and it is the, the title of the book is Mistborn, The Final Empire uh, This is a fantasy book I borrowed it from my brother, he's a fantasy book reader I am not. This is the first fantasy book uh, that I've read apart from Harry Potter and um, I would like to tell you a little bit about this book so that you can get an idea what it's about and see if you'd like to read it or not. First of all, let's start by describing the book itself. This is a paperback. paperback. This is um, quite a cheap book, I guess. In Amazon I saw that it retails around $7, I guess. Uh, it's 657 pages long, um, which actually um, makes it quite a long book. I mean, it's not like 150 pages or something. Um, it's got, um, let's see how many chapters. It's got um, uh, a prologue, an epilogue, and in between 38 chapters up of about 10 pages like each okay uh, the book is structured like this it's got prologue uh, then the main uh, book starts where in the beginning of every chapter you have um, a vignette here I think it's called a vignette which is um, a different story from the rest of the chapter however um, in the book they combine at some point and it's good that you read the vignette too so uh, let's go and talk about the plot. What is the plot of this book? I'm not going to be reading what is on the back because usually you can find this information online. I'm going to be talking about my personal experience with it. The plot is uh, something like, um, let's say, a big uh, robbery and uh, with, a, with a cause, okay? So there is this gang of thieves that they want to steal something and make money for themselves. But the reason behind it is deeper. Uh, this book, in this book, there is will um, the author presents us a world where um, it's a different world from the one we live in. Uh, there are mists everywhere and uh, the whole place is covered with ash and um, there are different social classes they are the uh, ska which are the peasants the slaves the noblemen which are the aristocracy and above it all there is the lord ruler you want to imagine this as um, uh, the eye in the lord of the rings or the Darth Vader in the Star Wars, this Lord Ruler that rules everything in the Empire and which is oppressing the Scar, the peasants, and is manipulating the noblemen. And um, so we have this um, situation which the gang of thieves, in order to steal from him, they also want to um, change the social status quo so they feel the injustice of this um, system and they want to uh, change that so there is two actually layers in the book the one is the simple um, how to set up the robbery and how to set up uh, the gang of thieves with each one with the his own spe special power and um, so that they can achieve the goal and then there is the um, social issue behind it about a uh, class oppression and uh, democracy and um, people's rights and human nature and all this uh, socialist socialist theme around it so that is the plot i'm not going to reveal any more because i am going to um ruin it for you so basically there is this fight 
it's it's a fight about uh, it's a fight for freedom it's a fight for liberation from the Lord ruler but it's also a robbery it is also a plan that has to remain secret it has a plan that has to work with special thieves doing special things in order to achieve their goal now let's go on and talk about the characters uh, the book has a lot of characters I also I already mentioned the aristocracy which is composed of many characters which are noblemen the ska which are the peasants and also the main characters of the thieving crew, the crew that is gonna do the robbery. Uh, we, the book is written, um, let's say, with two characters' point of view. So we have two of the characters talking in the book, narrating the book. One is Kelsier, who is the mastermind criminal behind this robbery who is the one that plans everything that uh, has these abilities this is, he's a man around 40-45 years old he has survived some pretty rough things and he has gone through a lot and he has his motives and he has um, this let's say cunningness that he devises the plan. He is the leader of the thieving crew. So this is the one person that talks throughout the book and then the other person that talks is a girl called Vin. Uh, Vin is a ska girl, one of the peasants, but she does not work in fields or um, somewhere. She is a thief. Uh, she lives in the underground. She's around 16 years old. She hasn't got in the beginning of the book, she's something of a um, um, tomboy. Uh, she's been treated really, really, really badly. And uh, she is like one of, I believe, the main characters of the book. Uh, we see her character transform throughout the book from this thief into something very, very different. Um, it seems like a cliche character in the beginning where you have the little girl who is not who is helpless people abusing her she's just a thief uh, but uh, this is only in the beginning because the characters get really really deep um, the book is um, has really formed fully formed characters you can actually feel that they're real people especially Kelser and especially Vin uh, then we have the rest of the thieving crew, each one of them has his own special ability and uh, slowly but steadily you, began, you begin to recognize them for who they are. We don't go very deeply into them, we don't get like a full uh, self-analysis but we get a picture. So when the book mentions the name of the character you get the, the, uh, the things that you need to ha have in your mind so that you know how it's going to evolve. So. All in all, I believe that the characters are very well formed. The plot in itself is very well formed, so it's not a cliché plot. It, ha it begins and it escalates into deeper and deeper and deeper plans and deeper fights and, and, and the plan A, which will then go to plan B and then there will be a plan C. And then it's, it's really, really interesting. I think I really, really liked it. Uh, then we will move on and I will talk to you about the descriptions and how the author uses the, to, his language to describe. Uh, I found it very realistic. I could imagine, I could see this misty world. I could feel it. I could feel the, 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 the whole um, helplessness thing that he wanted to give to this misty world. And I could also... Um, picture in my mind the aristocratic mansions and how they are and how they look and how their dresses look and everything so the language in the book is very good he, it's a very it's a well written book I believe now what I left out for the end is the main theme of the book which is the magic system that exists in this book and makes it a fantasy book so um, 
they have this magic system here which is called Allomancy and uh, it's a very interesting magic system which is very very well um, researched and it actually obeys the physical laws which makes it even more believable and it's all about um, using metals to enhance physical abilities to make you in a way superhuman now who has this alimency who uses it in what way how is this alimency created and how is it used i don't need to tell you because it is described in the book very very early on and it doesn't leave you with questions it doesn't it makes it really believable that this magic does exist and it does work and it's not really um, weird that we have this magic and in order for you to uh, to help you in the last pages it's called Ars Arcanium Ars Arcanium it has um like a glossary that you know whenever you become a little bit confused about what is this kind of magic about you can turn around and see like what that means or what the other thing is so all in all i really like the book uh, it's the first fantasy book that i read and i must say i am impressed uh, i never expected that i would like fantasy books but i fully do and um <clears throat> I find that this Brandon Sanderson follows um, the mythic life structure, the structure that the ancient myths have, so uh, he does follow through with all the <coughs> sorry, elements that a, a myth, a legend should have, so this makes the story complete. Uh, however, this is a trilogy, so this is just the first book. We are left with questions in the end of the book, so we are inclined to read the second book. But all in all, even if in, on its own, it is a really, really good book. It has love stories in it, it has friendship stories in it, it has <clears throat> stories about human values in it, it has stories about freedom in it, it has stories about hope, it has stories about um, despair, about human nature, about the, the human power of the soul. It is an inspiring book, I think. Um, it reminded me of The Lord of the Rings because of the message that it gives, that uh, united, that, with that even a small group of people with good purpose, with... Um, with um, determination they can change the world and I like that what I did not like about the book there were a few things that I did not like about the book and they have to do mostly with my being impatient and um, actually there were not a lot of things that I did not like the book I liked the book uh, I don't have any complaint over the book uh, complaints of the book um, I really liked it I find myself liking the characters even though they were not perfect even though they had faults they were very nice nicely made characters and um, for a sentimental romantic nature like myself um, the, 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 the fact that we're trying to achieve something worthwhile even though uh, we're not perfect ourselves um, finds me very 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 um, in accord with this and I would suggest that you pick it up it's cheap anyway it's not expensive in English and read it if you like that sort of book um, um, what else well there's not much more I can say about this book I hope you enjoyed this review and I will be back with more reviews about the books that I read. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you like, uh, like the video if you like the review and uh, spread the word so that other people can read nice books as well. Thanks for watching, bye bye, have a nice day and a good time, bye!